my dear brothers and sisters we have now come to the 26th verse of the 17th chapter sadbhave sadubhave cha sat iti etat prayujyate prashaste karmani tatha sat shabdah partha yujyate you know sat chit ananda sat is existence chit is consciousness and ananda is bliss these are the three features of the ultimate reality so sat is existence the only thing that exists is sat and that is the one that is used to refer ultimate reality and it is representation of all power infinite power infinite bliss infinite knowledge infinite freedom that's our original state also known as the jivatma become the paramatma atma of all of us self of all of us that's called the sat you know iti prayujyate sat iti eva jyate prashatte karmani tatha you know this is used to refer in all auspicious act you know so om tat sat we go on telling these things this is a part of this thing this has connection to the previous shloka you know what are the previous shloka we have in the things that we have seen you know last time yesterday we were told go back to that hmm. so this is the shloka we had तदिसंदय फल तप विद्या दानक्रिया विविध क्रियंते मुक्षवादि मुक्षरक्षि दट दि वन दट वी डीट नो इन दट वी हव सीन दट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट स्लाइड तद इति अनभिसंधाय फल यज्ञ तप क्रिया दान क्रिया विविध क्रियंते मोक्ष कॉन्ट्रीबी दोज हू वॉन्ट टू रीच दट अल्टिमेट रियालिटी दट इज द तथ यू नो वॉट आर थिंग्स टू बी डन हेज बीन प्रिस्क्राइब्ड इन दिस प्रीवियस वर्स यू नो so this verse focuses on the importance of intention behind all religious and virtuous act whatever we do you know our puja prata neema havana homa yagna and all these things have been prescribed in the purami mamsa and also in those things in the uttar mamsa everything has an intention to reach the ultimate reality you know all the good qualities you know are meant to reach the ultimate reality the word tat signifies the ultimate reality you no know? tat sat that is ultimate reality or the supreme being it implies that when performing acts of sacrifice that is yagna then discipline tapas and then charity dana three things which have been talked about again and again here yagna tapa and dana you know one should not be attached to the selfish gains you know this are all meant to see that we reach ultimate reality to raise ourselves from our normal level to become great human being super human being divine human beings and reach the ultimate reality itself and that is the meaning of this dimension so what are the key points of the shloka that we had you know we can see dispassionate action that is unattached action is very important so what is this this is nice karma you know what that mean it should not lead to actions which will make us more and more selfish i want this i want this i want this the phala that we have you know should not be making us more and more selfish it should help us to go towards more and more selflessness that is the whole essence of the thing that i have been put the ultimate goal is the ultimate reality 
the aim should be to reach that pure consciousness in the encounter we manifest that divinity what is the divinity as some vekananda said is to be happier day by day bliss more and more bliss should come to us happier it should become happier day by day healthier day by day and we should have the dimensions of growth continuously and more and more knowledge knowledge of the ultimate reality the right knowledge the wrong knowledge should go away viparya should go away the pramana should come and that is the knowledge and the power our energy should start increasing you know and the freedom should increase it become master our slavery should reduce these are all the things that is intended you know so the purity of intention what all we do there should be a purity for this thing it should come and thereby we will be able to grow these are the three key points that have been mentioned in the last verse you know so in essence this verse you know teaches us that true seekers should perform their duties and acts of devotion with a pure heart you know aiming solely for absolute freedom and not for any earthly or heavenly rewards you know and that is the purity that krishna has been telling this attitude purifies the mind all the sanchita karma and prarabdha karma will all get purified and it aligns one's actions with the ultimate goal of moksha or union with the ultimate reality that is the whole purpose the purpose should not be lost in the whole encounter so we have to move in the normal sense from manamaya to pranamaya manomaya vignana anandamaya kosha and reach that which is beyond all the kosha that's our pure self that the ultimate reality that we have to do and that is the implication of this wonderful shloka and the previous shloka they are connected so by doing what you will reach ultimate reality that is known as tat sat sat chit ananda sat is existence the only thing that exists is the ultimate reality thank you sarve bhavantu sukhinah sarve santu niramaya sarve badrani pashyantu मा कशे दुख भाग भवे ओ शांति शांति शांति